briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2015, the Court of Appeals of Georgia heard the case of Fennelly v. Lyons, which centered around the proper procedures for evicting a tenant and handling their personal property. William Fennelly rented a house from Samuel Lyons in Woodstock, Georgia, which they later modified into a month-to-month -month lease. Lyons sent Fennelly a 30-day notice to vacate the house in July 2012, but Fennelly did not leave by the deadline. Lyons filed an affidavit for a summons of dispossessory, alleging unpaid rent and refusal to deliver possession of the premises. Despite a misspelling of Fennelly's name in the notice and summons, Fennelly was evicted. He then filed a lawsuit against Lyons for wrongful eviction, trespass, and conversion, claiming that his personal property was disposed of without notice. Fennelly later added claims for invasion of privacy, emotional distress, and interference with property enjoyment. The trial court granted summary judgment in favor of Lyons, which Fennelly appealed. Ultimately, the Court of Appeals affirmed the trial court's decision, dismissing Fennelly's claims and ruling Lyons not liable for tortious conduct since he had lawfully obtained and executed a writ of possession to evict Fennelly. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.